and welcome to the Ident Review. The show where we have a good look and chat about the various television idents that we have come to know and love over the years. And for this instalment, we're going to be taking a look at another early foray by the BBC into the digital world with BBC Knowledge. Welcome to the newest digital channel on the BBC, and remember, knowledge is power. BBC Knowledge was launched on the 1st of June 1999, and was aimed to provide educational and informative content, as well as programmes with more interactive nature or online focus. The channel in its original form was short-lived, closing down on the 2nd of March 2002. But for today, we're going to take a look at some of the main idents that represented the channel in that short space of time. So let's start at the beginning in 1999, with the ident now more commonly known as the Ladders of Learning. It's a shame that not many tuned into the channel initially, because this one has a lot of heart. I like how on the different ladders the different characters each arguably represent a different aspect of the channel's ethos, including discovery, invention, and also just general learning, because after all, the original name of BBC Knowledge was set to be, you guessed it, BBC Learning. Also, let's discuss the art style. I love how quirkily animated this clip is, it seems so typically British, but also is really fluid to watch and eye-catching for audiences and I imagine at the time particularly eye-catching to children, as part of the content knowledge was set to show was to help make learning fun for audiences. Now, there are other variants to this ident featuring different characters, but the overall structure and design remains the same. Overall, it's a nice quirky identity for BBC knowledge to adapt and use to try and capture the attention of viewers. Moving on, around 2000, separate idents were created to represent specific strands that BBC knowledge would show, these didn't outright replace the ladders of learning, so let's take a look at a few of them. Now on BBC Knowledge, from small acorns, the odd remarkable tree. You're watching Science on BBC Knowledge with Moments of Genius. You're watching BBC Knowledge. This is BBC Knowledge, seeing salvation. What is billionaire Sheldon Adelson's extraordinary quest? Find out in the mission after Tools of the Trade. Andy follows his passion and Vanessa continues her campaign. Live stuff in 50 minutes after one man tries to make his dream come true on BBC. Now exclusive to BBC Knowledge are weekly updates on the lives and loves of the people of Saint-Tropez. Just a note, there may well be more of these stranded idents, but this is just what I was able to find. So as you probably gathered, BBC Knowledge showed programming that covered a variety of specific topics, notably based on what we see here, history, science, arts, business, and film and culture. I like how each strand appears wildly different from one another, and that they don't all fall under one generic theming. History's colours suggest age and legacy, with the visuals echoing that sense of discovery and wonder. 
Science on both occasions hits us with a scientific fact before settling into a deep blue tint over the screen. The arts variant shows us examples of a piece of art and several scrolls of written work emphasised by a deep red, indeed forming the final A which is a piece of art created from what we've just seen. Business probably has some of the simplest visual designs, but are as well echoed by red and I like how the first one seemingly plays on loan sharks and people who are out to get you within business. And finally we have film and culture, which I honestly think presents an example of wasted opportunity. With the huge scope that film and culture can offer you in terms of design, to just have a brief flash of clips before settling on a final logo is really disappointing. I know they probably only had 10 seconds worth of space, but you could still have found something a lot more creative or unique than this. Overall though, the stranded idents do complement the ladders of learning really well. Each one of these mentioned is very distinct and stands on its own to various degrees of success, and I'm sure it would have been a nice touch to know specifically what strand of programming was coming up next. However, in December of 2000, both these idents and the ladders of learning were to be abandoned, in favour of one new singular all-round ident. So let's give it a look. Interesting idea and concept, but ultimately quite dull. Now, I like the initial design of this, but the whole idea of circles zooming at the screen so fast that I can't even properly appreciate what's being thrown at me is quite boring and very disappointing. When you slow it down, you can see that each circle does somewhat of a job to emphasise the different strands that the channel offers, but it seems like this point that the BBC had just given up on knowledge. And to a certain extent, they had. Around the time that this ident was adapted, BBC4 was just given the go-ahead to be a new channel and was set to replace BBC Knowledge, which it ultimately did in 2002. So instead of a self-aware approach that BBC Choice took before being replaced by BBC Three, it's a shame that BBC Knowledge didn't receive a similar treatment, instead being left to fade away with this underwhelming example of a television ident. So in the three short years that BBC Knowledge existed in its original form, it started off with some really strong idents that had effort put into them, had great styles and designs, and ultimately represented the different topics that the channel was designed to broadcast to audiences. It may have died an underwhelming death, but this story doesn't have a sad ending. In 2007, BBC Knowledge was launched again, this time internationally in a variety of territories, and it carries a lot of the same aims that the original had in terms of programming that it shows to audiences. But the original BBC Knowledge may not be that well remembered, but that's why shows like the Ident Review do what we can, to preserve the identities that channels like these provided to us as television viewers. And so we've come to the end, but before we go, the final words from our broadcaster. We fools of nature so horridly to shake our disposition with thoughts beyond the reaches of our souls. See, why is My father couldn't people to play. It felt like the country was singing to me. <laughs> Baba Mal in concert, Saturday at 11.30 on BBC4. Everybody needs a place to think. That's it for us tonight. As you've heard, an exciting beginning for a brand new channel is only hours away. BBC Four starts this evening at seven o'clock. We look forward to what's to come, but from all of us here at BBC Knowledge, it's good night and goodbye. And that was all this week for this instalment of the Ident Review. I hope you all enjoyed watching it, and we hope that you tune in next week. You can tune in to all the regular programmes which will be available for you to view at their usual days and times, and of course the new shows will see their time in the spotlight for you as well. And please do remember to tune in on Sunday with a very special episode of the Sunday Catch-Up featuring both Adam and Lauren as well. But until then, have a good week, and we hope that you'll join us again soon. Good night.